Okay, so this is a quick demonstration of TensorFlow. So right here, I just created a batch file that will uh, um, just get things going for us. So let's go dot slash tensor logo. <clears throat> Takes a second or two. So it's running on a Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabytes of RAM. And uh, I got a webcam <coughs> hooked up to it. Excuse my messy desk. But if I hold the webcam up here, you can see that it is trying to do a good job at this. Now, obviously, the screen's a little. This window is a little too large and I can't really resize it. But it's catching them. That is definitely a keyboard. Let's see without this mouse. It's a mouse. Okay, good. TV. Yeah, close enough. Oh, and it's detecting me in the reflection. Kind of a person. Another TV. Okay, we're going. Um, phone. You see up there that stack of hard drives it's kind of confused about. Well, I guess those are the closest things that it has to identify them. Uh, let's see if we can well, notice that Groot is not a person. Oh, I think he's a teddy bear. I mean, he's kind of a teddy bear. If I could just hold my hand still, you know. Maybe he's a vase. Hmm. Well, there you have it. A quick demo. Oh, we'll put it on me. And uh, <coughs> see that I am indeed a person. And then there's not a refrigerator. Those are boxes of food storage. Yep. <laughs> All right, cool. <coughs> so that's kind of how that works. One thing I'll bring your attention to is where it says frames per second. Up here in the top left. Okay, so with the Raspberry Pi B Plus, it is running at about 0.9 frames per second. With this Raspberry Pi, we're running a lot faster, almost 4.6 sometimes. We're lucky. <clears throat> so, yep, that's kind of how that works. Now, uh, let's come over here. I'm um, getting all those corrupt JPEG data because of this type of webcam. So my my little file here, <clears throat> let's just go and then we'll do a nano of TensorFlow Go. You can see what's inside. So every batch, batch, blah, 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 batch file for bash starts with this line here. And then I'm just going to my directory where I'm keeping all the stuff. Okay, I follow this guy's awesome uh, tutorial to get this all set up. And this is per his instructions, but you have to do this every time. So I just decided to make an easy batch file. And then run it in Python. And then this is pretty cool right here. So I can do webcam. I can also do an image or video um, function uh, right here. And then I just have to pass it the correct model. If we run, well, let's just get out of here real quick and then we'll go ls cd um, tensorflow cd tf okay. Yeah, right here we'll see that we got video, image, and webcam. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> open up another terminal page. And we want to do some stuff with that. Okay, let's go over here. C uh, TensorFlow, C TF Flight. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to be doing this stuff. So we'll just nano TensorFlow go. Okay, come in here and change this guy to be a image. Bingo. 
now let's run dot slash tensor logo give it a second and what we should see is it detects some cows because my picture has cows and people one oddity though is it doesn't detect this cow maybe because this one has horns none of the other ones do just this one so it must be a bull I think that's not for me to decide um perfect so let's do this again and then I'll show you the video <coughs> yeah it's called video right yeah it is um video bingo okay let's see if my DNC server is gonna reconnect or what It's not. So yeah, I guess we're gonna do it to that. Basically it does the same thing on a video. It goes and it runs the software on the video that you pass it. And you can basically rewatch the video or you watch the video as it does the processing. And you can watch the video to see um, exactly what it is determining everything is. So pretty crazy, right? I guess I've been run, run it now. Um, oops. <laughs> That's a little better. Okay, you'll see. It runs in super slow motion though. Um, because, oh, I'm thinking of something a little bit different, but same thing. We got this video of this guy's birds on the bird feeder and it does that. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, takes about uh, an hour to set up and get everything working right from top to bottom, but I was pretty impressed at how easy he made it. Uh, the link can be found here. Right here. I would follow this guy's guide really long link but I can put it in the description of this video if I put it on YouTube so yeah pretty fun pretty simple um, would recommend to get started in tensorflow my next project is gonna be take this and take the like a Raspberry Pi spy cam idea so that because there's a cat that poops in the front yard all the time and I uh, want to find out whose it is and then be notified when it's happening and then immediately turn on the sprinklers since we have our sprinklers set up um, through our phones. So basically what it's going to do is notify me that, hey, the cat is pooping on the front yard. I'm gonna be like, sweet, we caught the cat in the middle of the deed. Now turn on the sprinklers for that bad boy and get him off the yard. So that's the whole plan. And so now I just gotta be able to identify cats, dogs, people on my yard, and then take that with the video feed and send out a little t tweet or um, text or email. Push notification would be super cool. But I think text is gonna be the way we end up going if I can figure that out. So that's kind of where this project's heading. So, yep, that's uh, what we did. If you liked the video, I'm super glad. I know it was really basic and I'm doing this super late at night. But yeah, again, this is just a brief overview.